Well, in case I don't see you guys, which I will. Happy New Year, everybody. We are heading to the shops. I'm sitting in the garage right now. We're in the car. We've got the air conditioning on. My car is saying it's only 33 degrees outside. That's not true at all. So much has happened. Baby girl has her first tooth and we've changed into the big seat, her big car seat. Of course, it's still rear facing, but yeah, I just, this year, well, I'm not gonna wrap up the year right now. It's not New Year's yet. It is New Year's tonight, but I reckon we'll be asleep. Unless we're doing a nappy change, we might go out in the balcony and see if anyone has some illegal fireworks, which is always fun. And that's the good part about living in the ghetto. This is my first New Year's in the ghetto. Um, when I say the ghetto, it's, I, it's not, I live in a nicer part. It's not too bad, but yeah, I kind of, I do love that about the suburbs. I love it when people let off their illegal fireworks. It just makes it super fun. So we won't be awake, I don't think. Well, I will be, but Goldie won't be unless we're doing a nappy change. So we're gonna go to the supermarket and hopefully it'll be nice and air conditioned. I've just been keeping the bub inside because it's just way too hot. We're having a heat wave at the moment. I just wanna go to the shops and get a heap of fruit and veg and I'm on a really tight budget at the moment. Not like anything's new, but yeah, really super tight. So I'm gonna do what I can with just living off pretty much veggies, salad, and free range eggs, and peanut butter, <laughs> of course. I've gotta have some fun in my life. And um, yeah, let's do this. Baby girl's just uh, sucking on one of those those teething rings, I don't know what you call it, but it's the ones, they're filled with water and you pop them in the fridge. Anyway, they are so great and they've obviously stuck around for a reason. Okay, all right, let's um, go get some fruit and veg. Got no hands free, no hands. No hands! How are we gonna how are we gonna get everything? Oh look at those pumpkins. It is New Year's Eve and we're back in my kitchen and we've been to the fruit and veg shop. I feel like making a huge bowl of coleslaw. <laughs> I know! I know it's so exciting! And that's what I feel like when I, when I want something, I can't get it out of my head and I can't get over things until I have it. But that's a pretty healthy thing to crave, so I'm going with it. I've got the cabbage, carrots, the purple cabbage, and I might put a bit of red onion in there. I'm gonna get the food processor out and I like it. <laughs> yes, darling! I like it cut really fine. I don't like it at the shops when it's cut really thickly. It's kind of yuck and you get big chunks and it's not, doesn't taste good. So I think food is heaps, heaps, that's not very good English. It's a lot about texture. So I like salads when they cut really finely and I did forget a salad dressing. I didn't get balsamic vinegar. I don't have any, coconut yogurt or anything. Could maybe try and make a dressing. I do have some coconut cream. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. I'm not gonna stand up properly because you will see as a breastfeeder, one boob is twice the size of this one. So I'm just gonna hang here with this glass here for the moment. <laughs> and I'm gonna roast some potatoes. I got some pumpkin. Don't think I'm gonna cut that up because I just can't be bothered tonight. All right. That is what no one wants is a whole lot of unfinished. 
control to do it, but I'm not sure if I did it by it. going. That's your puppy. That's your. That is your puppy. Very old, isn't she? Hey. She's tired. Good morning. It's 2022 and my hair is still falling out. I need to do a really short mum haircut like up to here, but I'm just I'm not ready for it and it doesn't suit me. Like if it suited me, I would I would have done it by now. I would have got the scissors and just done it. I'm, so, shout out to my sister for buying these awesome coffee mugs. Like, they're huge. It just so happens it matches my t-shirt. But, the crap thing is my coffee machine's broken. And I've been having instant coffee and it just doesn't cut it. Like, I feel like there's no caffeine in it. And it doesn't taste good either. I can't believe there was a phase where I go, I go through different phases with coffee and sometimes I like instant coffee but you know what I've realized as well how much money I save having coffee from home um, I've been going to this place and I get a coffee and then the other day I just really quickly I'm always I feel like I'm always in a rush maybe that's all mums but I really quickly was like, yep, long black with one third hot almond milk. Yep, awesome, thank you. Tap my card. And like, $6.10. The coffee has been $6.10. That's insane. Maybe I'm showing my age, but back in the day, $6.10 was like, that was a meal. $6.10 just for a coffee. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. I know it costs extra because I get almond milk, but still, they put about this much almond milk. I mean, 
I also think about as a small business owner, I think their rent would be really high. They've got to pay their rent. They've got to pay their staff. But still, I feel like my coffee was $6.10 because the rest of the cafe was, it's always quiet. So I'm like, maybe they've got to bump it up because it's my coffee. I know. It's too expensive. So ridiculous. Anyway, got to get the coffee machine fixed. So, say Happy New Year, everybody! That's so good! That's so good! Happy New Year! Oh, I think it's too early for the neighbours. I'm trying to make friends with my new neighbours and... Now, actually, I do walks around here all the time and I, only, I haven't been living here for a year yet. Turns out that my place was the place to be for New Year's because all the illegal fireworks were lit. And I'm not making a joke there, but they were lit. Like, it was awesome. It was, it was great. Why would, I, I just can't think of anything worse than driving into the city. The only reason I was always in the city for New Year's is because I was always dancing. But, yeah, for work. If you don't know me, I, I used to be a dancer. I still am a dancer. I just, I'm a mum now, so I can't really do any of that anymore. And I'm kind of getting old and stuff. Anyway, and there's no industry anymore and it's all shut down and whatever. But I had a great time. We'll talk about that another day. But it was great. I made, I didn't show you a plated up version of my dinner. I've made enough coleslaw for the whole neighborhood and but it's really great because it's in the fridge and I'll just keep having that I can and the thing about it is I don't care what anyone says if you're a dietitian nutritionist whatever but you can eat as much of that salad as you want it doesn't matter you can pile your plate up with it and it doesn't matter how much you eat and the dressing has fats in it but it's good fats and chips and salad good old chips and salad and it <laughs> I know you didn't stay awake for New Year's, did you? Um, yeah, I'm a cool mum. It's <laughs> I'm not a cool mum because I put the mattress on the ground in the lounge room, but I am a cool mum because it felt like we had a sleepover last night, so we stayed down in the lounge room. I know, darling. It wasn't that great because I forgot to block that window. The sun came through and it was a bit hard to sleep in. But it's another heat wave tonight. I've got a townhouse and it's really, really hot upstairs. So looks like we're having a... I know! We're having a sleepover downstairs again tonight. So that should be fun. Yeah, baby! I hope you have an absolutely magical new year. Let's hope everyone has an amazing 2022. I love even numbers. Even numbers are better than odd numbers. Yeah, girlfriend. Um, I'm gonna drink my awful instant coffee and we've got to do some nappy free time. We do nappy free time every morning. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna drink this disgusting instant coffee. I will definitely be putting it in the microwave again. I know, darling. Say happy new year. I've got heaps of washing to do. If I miss one day of washing, it's like that's it. It all piles back up again. All right, bye. I'll see you guys soon.